football game, 43-7 to tonight. And they go to 9-4 and on the year. After winning 11 straight, the winning streak comes to an end. For the Ravens, they finished the year at 11-2. and two. Great year, tremendous year, historical year. Um, couldn't ask for a better year. Um, a lot of first time things. Um, first ever district championship, first ever 11 win season. Uh, first time ever hosting three uh, playoff games. First time in the regional finals. So a lot of first time things, man. So it was a great year. First game I actually played really good. Had two fumble, two fumble forces, two forced fumbles, and he got the recovery. Yes, sir. And then for me at least, it switched around my whole outlook on the game and my momentum for the rest of the season. That was a really good game for me too. I had a pretty good game. My third game of the season, so I was still warming up. You know, it's but... nice. Skylights from WLKY News Chopper. High above that new stadium at Holy Cross. The Cougars welcoming Atherton to the Dixie. gets in the end zone on their opening drive and the Ravens get the win on the road. The final 16-6, Atherton 4-1 to start the season. HS game time, Atherton headed to Oldham County tonight having won four straight. Meanwhile, the Colonels were trying to put a halt on a three-game losing streak.
Atherton storms back in the second half to win this one on the road, 34 to 24. Too straight, they calm. Go ahead and take it from them tonight. Leave them on fall break. Long face, sad face, right? For them boys on front line. Got dominate physicality. dropped its season opener at home to KCD. That was a little surprising, but the Ravens have not lost since. Every day, the grind, adversity we face week in and week out, a win's a win, especially a district win, all right? Like I said, we knew after just taking a turn now, so we're going to get everything's best shot. Best season for them in a, almost a half century. Atherton with every right to be excited. It's been a historic season for the Ravens. Best season for them in 50 years, Dalton. They're trying to build off their first ever district title tonight.
Alex had won at 34, nothing for a program to start 10 and 1 record at a spot in the second round hosting Butler next Friday. It's been a long year, man. Playoff time, man, but we still grind like it's week one. No days off. We can't overlook no opponent. We got to treat everybody like it's a championship game. A win like this means a lot to us because it's playoff. It's win or turn your stuff in. You know what I'm saying? So we understood that you got to win to keep this season going. Historic season, 10 and 1, 10 straight, 10 straight wins. Good Friday evening, everyone. Good Friday playoff football evening here in Louisville. Jefferson County High School football in the KHSAA second round of the playoffs. It is a class 5A tilt here between the visiting Butler Bears and the host, the Atherton Raven. The best stories in the state continues to be the rise of Atherton Scout. The Ravens are on a school record 10 game winning streak and they've never advanced to the third round. The playoff playoff. Butler game was probably my favorite game with me scoring a 99 yard touchdown. But overall, we dominated, See the end zone. sent them home. A quick slant and it's going to go 98 yards. They won't catch him. That's Curry and he's blasted off for the score. Atherton won at 21-0 for an 11-1 record this season to advance to a regional title game for the first time ever where they will host 7-4 Owensboro. made history last week in the Ravens. We're looking to make some more tonight. Hosting the first regional final in the program's history. So this was a really, really big deal for the Ravens. They were the sign of the times hosting Owensboro. but Atherton's dream season ends with an 11-2 record and a regional title game lost 43-7 to Owensboro. Shout out to all the coaches that helped me and the whole team. Thank y'all. I said thank you to Coach White and the whole coaching staff for making my football experience so great and carrying me through these past three years of football. Coach White, great head coach. I think he's probably the best head coach in Kentucky. He's just a great guy. He can, he's really a father figure if you really get to know him. My favorite part of the season is definitely the first game since it was my first real game uh, after like three years. And it was exciting, but I was nervous at the same time. But after the game, it made me realize how like, this, now I got to get serious about football now. For sure hanging out with him the whole time. Just, uh, just eating up on the defense, just killing every offense and every other team. 